Well, it's uh, just about uh, six minutes past, uh, well, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on uh, uh, September 2nd, and it's Wednesday. And we're just now starting the vlog. Uh, I said time shift. The time shift uh, with this type of work. Uh, is that it's it's studying. It's uh, it's technology, engineering, mathematics, science, history, uh, language studies, which includes English, Greek, and a number of ancient languages. Uh, and so time time gets away from you. And so what happens? This is why the vlogs. Uh, We'll see. We'll start at different times and end at different times uh, within the 24-hour cycle. But uh, and this is also one of the reasons why I lose track. Of, I lose track of time. But uh, the test I ran on uh, on uh, the research desk here. There's a monitor. There, there, there's a little monitor above uh, where I watch a lot of my documentaries and stuff like that, and try, testing out the new browser. And it worked very well. I've been able to sync uh, the bookmarks I create on this device that I'm uh, using to film. Uh, I can do a lot of the browsing and testing initially here, and send them over to the uh, over to the other browser uh, so I can watch them later on. So, uh, sort of a second perusing, if you will. Uh, so I do have now uh, a browser that I can do research with. I can do uh, significant work on my phone on, on this device. Uh, except that they call it a phone because it, 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 I use it as a phone, but it's not necessarily as a phone specifically. It's it's primarily a device. It's like a laptop. It's it, it is actually more powerful than the laptops that I have in, in the, that are running Linux. Uh, they process videos faster. I can do editing faster on here. I can do um, uh, graphic editing. So it the. Uh, they're devices. They're not just simply phones, so it's better, it's more proper if you're using it as a device, in addition to uh, the uh, phone, that you call it a device. And that's what it, I'll, I'll, my whole uh, research desk is here, is, is device dependent. The device ma makes the research desk. And I said I have a back end network of Linux, it's a Linux network. And that handles a lot of large chunk of my storage. So my storage is Linux, it's a Linux network, but my immediate is uh, my immediate is uh, an Android network connected to the Linux. So it's, this is called the user's interface network. That's all interconnected. And then the back end, which is storage, is uh, a Linux-based network. And ironically enough, Android is a version of Linux. And same thing with uh, iOS. Uh, they're all so-called flavors of Linux uh, that are locked down to a, ver uh, to a variety of degrees. So, I'm going to go to the media room right now, the, re the new research desk, the media room, uh, finish up uh, the sync, the, the, brow work, the browser work, uh, syncing the videos, start the uh, YouTube stroll at... Uh, uh, at um, Yowie vlogs, and then continue forward. So, yeah, well, not we really continue forward, but I'll, I'll have breakfast after that. So, I'll see you uh, a couple hours or so. Well, it's almost midnight. Uh, almost uh, September 3rd, uh, probably a few minutes before that. Uh, I just finished doing some gaming, and surprise, surprise, I finished the uh, uh, the basic length of the bank, the basic uh, stretch of the YouTube stroll. And it, everybody's back to school. <laughs> the last place I left off at uh, was uh, uh, Family Five Vlogs and uh, showing their back to school and. They had their first day of school. They do homeschooling, so and it, but but the, she, she doesn't teach. What happens is that uh, uh, she uh, they do a lot of online videos. They they, they watch these. Uh, they're enrolled in these uh, programs that have online classes with teachers in there. 
So you get, uh, they get some degree of class instruction, some degree of, uh, of extra help with homework from, from mom, but so the, 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 the load of teaching doesn't fall on the parents alone. Let's see what's coming in now. Oh, oh. There's a parking lot for, uh, a contract parking lot for uh, uh, large trucks and heavy equipment uh, just around the, oh, just down the street from me. And so they're, they're all parking their trucks now, some of them coming in late after they're finishing work. And <sighs> we're back to the family five log. This, it, it, it's interesting to see. It, I, I enjoy I enjoy back to school uh, to a certain degree because <laughs> that's kind of the situation I'm in. Uh, I didn't do the history for today, today that I was supposed to do today. At least I think I didn't do the history. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, a lot of times I do history when I first wake up. That's the, the as soon as I first wake up, that's when I do the history. That's typically when I do the history. Then I go on to Instagram and try to uh, make uh, some sense of what I'm doing on Instagram and it's basically at my Kauai Tea House that's where I primarily, primary, primarily am at think of words and how to say them while you're uh, speaking live or in front of a camera harder than you think <laughs> uh, and it led to me to sort of uh, looking into my kitchen and seeing how I'm going to fix that up uh, the different types of teas that I make in terms of, uh, I do always do a cold brew. Uh, I used to do hot brew, now I'm doing cold brew. The flavors come through much better. I enjoy it much more as a cold brew. But then again, you also look at the, the, the short order menu. Like like right now, I'm tired. I don't want to cook anything. Uh, but I don't know what I feel like either. <laughs> when you get in a situation of fatigue and, and exhaustion, you really don't know what you want to eat. Uh, you don't want anything like big. You don't want to, definitely don't want a steak or anything like that. But you want something, uh, almost like a breakfast for dinner type of thing. Uh, so I probably will make myself a couple eggs and uh, go from there. Let's see who's coming in now. I got some lights popping up. Oh. Okay. One of my other neighbors. <laughs> I thought some because uh, sometimes when they come out on the street, it, it looks like the headlights are coming this way, so uh, come towards me. This way doesn't give you any indication of what's going on, what's going on, because uh, you can't see. But it's, it's out of sight, it's out of uh, it's out of frame. But uh, there's still there's still a fair bit of traffic at, at this point in time at, at this hour, and so what happens is that you do have uh, to be careful that because I'm in a parking lot, <laughs> I'm in the uh, parking lot of my uh, business unit, business unit, and. It's okay now because everyone's gone. Everyone's more or less gone for the day. They won't be back until later on. Uh, well, well, tomorrow. What they call well, what they call tomorrow. But tomorrow is not necessarily tomorrow for me because uh, I still have a couple hours left to do. Uh, most of the work has been uh, on in, in the technology area. Uh, I've got the browser working. I've got uh, the browser working across all my devices. Now it's a matter of. Uh, 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 fixing up problems in terms of bringing the content over so that now instead of having one platform where you do all your work on you have two or three platforms that you can do your work on and that way uh, you see because some of the time like give an example in history some of the stuff I need to do in history uh, there is the official history that you get in the textbook but then there's also a history that was never meant to be published but because enough time has gone by you can go in the archives and sort of see what was going on that was never really made public and you get a better understanding of well not only what happened but why it happened what, you know why did we have the civil war why who was involved who did what to who and you know you you get details that were never put into a textbook or simply excluded uh, because you have access to the, you know, these different presidential libraries and there's a good chunk of that stuff online, but it, 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 it's floating all over the place. You have to go look for it. It's not a sort of that someone says, oh, here it is. There isn't a teacher in this case, but at the same time, because there is so much information out there, once you go off the textbook, you're back in middle school again because it's way beyond what you could ever, ever hope to assemble in terms of 
getting any degree close to. So you spend your entire life in this type of research, doing exploration, uh, basically uh, in middle school because you really ne your understanding never really goes beyond it in, in, in the understanding in, in the total sense of your of understanding. You know your knowledge in ratio to all knowledge stays the same. Even though you feel like you're moving, even other people say, oh man, you're really smart. If you consider all knowledge, then you're standing still. And that's the, this is what brings me back into middle school. And so we're looking for people who are sort of in the same situation I am. Those are people who are in middle school. Those are tweens. They're the ones who are, they're the ones who are still in class. So that's, those are, in many cases, that, that's, those are my peers. Uh, and there is a difference, a distinction between myself and adults. I don't fit in with the average adult because I don't have that sense of finality in my, in, in my career. There is no career here. And oh, how is your career going? Well, uh, it's not. It doesn't move at all. How's your business doing? Well, yeah. Same answer, because there's nothing definitive. I mean, I remember trying to explain this to banks and say, whoa, everyone says, oh, you need to go get a line of credit. That's how you run your business. Well, get a line of credit, and what do you do? Well, ooh. <laughs> and that, well, ooh, didn't really go over too well. And so and they say, well, our answer is, well, ooh, and... <laughs> See and have a good day. Have a good nice life. That type of thing. No, you you don't get the things you expect to get, and once you get used to the night, once you've been doing this enough, you get into the feeling that okay, this is how things are going to end up working out. Log, the better you get. Hmm. Last night I ended, was, was able to finish the, the binge watch of uh, uh, Clintus TV, and uh, so now I'm on Sierra. So Sierra is the next stop. Do a couple binge watch, uh, do a binge watch there to sort of catch up. A number of people are picking up that the that vlogging is the if you aren't doing a lot of things in your day, in other words, it's not a travel vlog. Then the vlog itself is the conversation, and this is where he's sort of shifting his vlogs to is more the conversation that you have with him and it's, it's and so it, it it's you you're there as part you're there as his friend and you get to hang out with a person have that conversation and this is what makes sort of the 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 video enjoyable in terms of the entertainment value there are a number of people out there who don't have anyone, they're by themselves, and these conversations are nice. Uh, and, and I'm in, of this particular uh, uh, sort of frame of mind that I spend so much time studying, but uh, there are very few adults that I can sort of relate to. So I spend most of my time at, uh, either on, on uh, cartoons and anime, uh, design anime design for the younger set, uh, and then I uh, spend most of my time at family channels or the the kids channel or the kids channels, the tweens and the um, and the teens, and I find them uh, to be uh, more enjoyable than than the adult channel. I do have as I think this is nice, but I prefer I guess again it's the perspective. Uh, 
Adults have a hard time going into something brand new and really sort of fumbling with it. Uh, where a younger person uh, doesn't, necessarily, doesn't necessarily have the issues with uh, attaching, uh, attach, uh, attempting something new uh, on a more regular basis. But this is because a large chunk of the time they're they're tasked with school, and the school always throws them uh, something that is beyond their initially their initial capacity. So. This is what school does. This is what school is supposed to accelerate the capacity. But what happens in, in the process of school, uh, school off, uh, also defines the capacity and makes sure that the, the student uh, uh, understands or has a perspective that knowledge is finite. In other words, it's designed to damp the, the, the enthusiasm for exploration beyond the textbook. It says you need to be coloring inside the lines. Well, that's okay if, if, there, if the lines are provided for you, but what happens in the case where the lines aren't provided? You know, when you have a coloring book, you color within the lines. You, you, you color the picture that's there. But what if you want to go beyond the coloring book and start creating your own art? your own pictures. Well, then the lines aren't there. You have to go and create the lines. And it's not, it's not as easy to do the same type of work when you have to create the lines yourself. And it presents a whole new set of challenges. So anyways, uh, this is the end vlog uh, for uh, Wednesday, for Wednesday's vlog it is now, I think it's the third, let me just check the, uh, yeah, it's uh, Thursday, September 3rd, I was going to say August 3rd, and we're ending up the video. So don't worry about the challenges. Challenges are always there. And again, he says this in his video. This is uh, John from uh, Yahweh Vlogs. Even though he says you are worth it, in many cases he's talking about dealing with the downside, the, the way you feel, about letting your negative feelings stop you from doing extra work. And that's what I talk about as well. The thing is, simply patting your back, you're patting yourself on the back, saying you are worth it, doesn't doesn't get the job done. Sometimes you have to do things, even though you're not feel, feeling, well, yeah, I'm worth it. You have to plow through the negative feelings. I mean, ways to deal with them, and understand that. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling negative now, but there is a benefit to what I'm dealing with on the other side. In other words, the good stuff doesn't always, well, typically, without the struggle, the good stuff never comes. I mean, tackling this new browser thing, transferring uh, my, my the, the TV I've been watching for a couple of years now over to a new browser, uh, it's a daunting task. But if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have found uh, the new browser I'm dealing with now. And it, yeah, it has its limitations, but it also has its benefits. Uh, so, I'm going into a new year with a, a whole new set of tools and another set of options that I didn't have the year before. So, it is exciting this year, starting again in September. And this is the, I, not something that I planned. This is something that just sort of fell into my lap. And this is how I sort of set my schedule from September to... Uh, to December for the uh, all the fall and into winter uh, <clears throat> semester, and then uh, February to May for the spring semester, uh, winter spring, and leaving my summers off uh, to sort of think about things, to ponder what I experienced during that the school year, and then you, you do need, do need your time off to ponder to think about things. And that's what the summer does. The summer, the breaks gives you the time to sort of think about things, 
and then get yourself into a new perspective for September again or for or for um, um, uh, what you say what uh, over September or for February because February is the end of the break <coughs> the Christmas break anyway so doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not no refunds. <laughs>